Hello, this is the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 16th of May 2020. And I already can't believe it is May. Never mind. Um, the phrase of the week, as usual, something from the past, we talk a good game. By God, do we talk a good game. Anyway, um, this is a look back on my week. Um, week ending on Saturday the 16th, as I've already mentioned. And I'm starting with Reddit. I can't believe, I oh, can't remember more correctly how long I've been on Reddit. I sort of joined then, did nothing. Um, and then I was watching Jason Howell's Android App Arena. And it was um, an app on there. I think it was called Pulse. Um an Android app, and it was really good. And I started posting to um, the Daily Tech Show uh, subreddit, and I do it once a day, maybe not over the weekend. And it was like they were going into the black hole. Never got upvoted at all. I wondered if I was doing something wrong. And then along came uh, the Tech Meme Ride Home, and they had a subreddit, and I posted on there, and I got a like straight away. So I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong. However, I still didn't get any um, upvotes or even downvotes on the Daily Tech News Show. And then um, Corona Pop 2020, and now I'm up to 300 points. It must be less people posting um, because people are actually upvoting and commenting and adding things. And um, well, anyway, um, <laughs> um, I'm now a proper redditor and i need to post to the um trangia board on their board subreddit i'm sorry and in better news this week um going home from work um i spotted in sainsbury's 99p a liter sub one pound a liter um i didn't fill up I should have filled up, actually, by half a tank, and I didn't want to carry around extra petrol because that wouldn't be economic anyway. However, um, oil is really low at the moment, so probably at the end of this week, I'm probably going to need to fill up at 99p a litre. Um, luckily, the nectar points are based on how many litres you put into your tank. And on an ad hoc note... We still work out our fuel economy in miles per gallon. Well, at least I do anyway. Strangeness all around. So I'm recording this on a Windows laptop. It's a Lenovo, it's an i7. And um, there's no indicator lamp for the hard disk. So um, I downloaded a little app which is um, flashing away at the moment. It's open source. I'm not sure where the developers are. I have a feeling that they're in the Ukraine. Um, and I like to see little apps like this. They only do one thing. They do it well, um, and they're supported. So I, um, I chipped them three euros anyway, um, because it's the right thing to do. And I believe in doing the right thing. Um, and three euros, I was going to say, is a cup of coffee. Um, but you can't actually go up for a cup of, co cup. <laughs> cup of coffee at the moment. Um, unless you do a Costa Coffee drive through or a Starbucks. I can't believe people would queue for that period of time. No, I do fancy a McDonald's burger. I haven't had one for ages. And it's one of the things I'd like to do when the lockdown is finished. But I'm not queuing in a car all around the corner, and that's just nonsense. It really is nonsense. And talking of when this is over, which I would like to think it's soon, but uh, who knows, to be perfectly honest. Um, I have a plan. We were talking about this in work uh, in lunchtime, flexed out, of course, about going back to the pubs when this is over. Um, my Saturdays and my Beano's are usually spent in pubs. So I want to go back to the pub. However, when they reopen, not a hope in hell. Um, I have to think that Weatherspoons will be the first one or the first group that are opening. And I know they haven't covered themselves in glory, but they will be employing local people. And I would imagine that breweries would say cash up front, otherwise you're not having our beers. 
Um, but they have the app, so you can sit at the table, you can order your beer, it can be brought over to you, you don't stand at the bar, you can have social distancing. So I think I think that will be okay. Anyway, here's my plan. As soon as they reopen, I do absolutely nothing. Because people, like the people at KFC and Starbucks and Costa Coffee, will go crazy and there'll be all sorts of chaos. So I'm giving it at least two weeks before I even venture out to a pub. I'm really speaking, I want to go places. I've got Beano's planned, well, in my head. Um, I had a Beano planned for Wessex um, at the end of June. Um, I've had my first refund off that. That was off um, Premier Inn in Exeter. And I've got two nights in a Weatherspoons and another three nights in another Premier Inn. So they are soon to be refunded. Well, I haven't got anything from Weatherspoons yet, so I hope they do. Otherwise, um, it's over £100, so I'm going to be doing a Section 75 a reclaim on it. Because, well, it's my money. And um, this is a Saturday. It's supposed to be a mini heat wave, but that's moved till Wednesday of next week. I've been out in the back garden. I've been watering things. And I got my tran gear out, and I cooked a burger. And I managed to eat the burger without getting all the fat all over me, which I think is really rather positive. So that was my week. I'm really glad to have the weekend. And more than that, I'm really glad to have a back garden, which I can go out on, I've got into, on my own, relax, grow things, and um, watch the world go by. Or more correctly, listen to podcasts, because that's what I do. Anyway, um, if you're watching, thank you for watching. And I'll probably speak to you next week. So I'm going to wave goodbye now and then click the button. Thank you and bye-bye. Click the button.